Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is Portia Bradley and I will be introducing our team as we explain how we gather the understanding of what relationship marketing is. We also have Eduardo Falcon and Luis Garcia to thank for this information. When we began this project, our goal was to gain a more clear understanding of the term relationship marketing. Once we were able to gain a clear understanding of relationship marketing, we then wanted to focus on how organizations measure the efficacy of relationship marketing programs. Upon starting this project, we believe that relationship marketing had a lot to do with organizations using campaigns to connect with the masses to drive up market presence. This effectiveness of this type of campaign could simply be measured by the increase in sales and positive changes in stock value. That was our point of view. Our findings based on secondary research were that relationship marketing is a marketing concept that works best for current clientele base as it focuses on strengthening the relationship with the customers they already have instead of focusing on acquiring new customers. Although sales increases can be indicative of positive marketing campaigns, these types of changes are not always outcomes of relationship marketing campaigns. It is far more difficult to measure attitudes, change, and behaviors. As Eduardo explained, an increase in stock value in sales following a relationship campaign does not clearly explain how effective the campaign was. Lay's Do Us a Flavor campaign began October 2017. PepsiCo, the fathering company, seen major increases in stock value prices between October and January of 2018. However, once the buzz of the campaign ended, the stock value decreased from its peak of $119.75 in January to $107.87 in March. However, the Lay's Do Us a Flavor hashtag ranks as number one for the most used hashtag to market a relationship campaign, as it was used by more than 1.2 million people on social media outlets to bring awareness to the company. Our conclusion was that relationship marketing is the secondary concept to traditional marketing concepts. It's all about keeping the customers an organization already has. Relationship marketing programs are created to strengthen the relationships that already exist between the brand and the consumer and not focused on measures as simple as salaries increases. That was our conclusion. Thank you all for tuning in. We hope we were able to assist in helping you understand relationship marketing as well as how organizations measure the effectiveness of a relationship marketing campaign. Have a great day and thank you again.